It is the largest solar flare in five years, and it is racing toward Earth, threatening to unleash charged particles that could disrupt power grids, GPS, and flights. We're not talking going back to the Stone Age. We're not talking going back to the 1980s, even. Yeah, we're only talking slight disruptions, but slight disruptions to a lot of people can be big. The sun erupted Tuesday evening. By Thursday morning, the Earth could start to feel it. As it speeds away from the sun, the flare is only growing. The storm is likely to last through Friday, but the sun could still send more blasts toward Earth. Those charged particles will hit the Earth at four million miles per hour. Our ionosphere can get disturbed, um, so that means again, you know, your uh, communication, navigation error with your uh, instruments. Um, you know, satellites might experience uh, larger drag that might require resetting them in future. I, my my expectation is it, it's at that level. It, it's a moderate level. Uh, storm, as far as we can tell right now. In the sky, some people in North America could see auroras or northern lights. There could also be problems. Solar storms can disrupt technology with magnetic, radio, and radiation emissions. Electrical power grids may get tripped, for one. Satellites in space could also be affected, along with astronauts on the space station. But NASA says they will be fine. On Earth and in the heavens, watching and waiting for the coming storm spun from the sun. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.